Welcome back to Close Up on San Diego Business, where we get up close and personal with San Diego businesses and the key people that are working hard to make a difference in our community. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here on KFSD AM 1450 and financialnewsandtalk.com. Okay, we are back. Uh, again, I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my co-host, Andrea Kay and Al Arias. We have our next guest. Uh, we are honored to have Mr. Jerry Vetrick from Twin Anchors Boats and Yachts. Welcome, Jerry. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate Andrea and Barry and Al the opportunity. And I'd like to wish all your listening audience a very wonderful Passover and Easter. Yay, cool. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I almost wanted to get into this interview and make sure he sings all the uh, uh, all, all of the his answers. <laughs> <laughs> I can come back another time, believe me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Jerry was singing while we're, we're on commercial break. So tell us a little bit about uh, Twin Anchors. Uh, what do you do? How do you do it? And, and let's get started. Well, we do just about everything in the marine business uh, related to boats. We're a full-service full dealer. We're a brokerage house. We assist people in finding boats. We assist people in selling their boats on consignment. Uh, we repair their boats. I try and consult and help people make good decisions. Uh, the boating industry has gone through a uh, transition in the last six years, Barry, that um, has been a challenging one. We've lost about 80% of the dealers in the state of California. And uh, it's really because of the recession and the fact that a boat is a toy. However, the wonderful thing about California is that we have 800 miles of shoreline. We're the second largest state in boat registrations and wonderful opportunities to recreate on the water. Uh, unfortunately, our friends in Iowa and Nebraska can't do that. <laughs> you know, they can do what they like to do. But out here, we have a lot of opportunity and I have to tell you that in all my years, I've never seen anybody not smile on the water. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have to say, you know, between all the people we've had in the uh, boating uh, industry, between uh, Jim Bean and uh, Jerry, I haven't seen so many people come in happy as uh, as in the boating industry. So there must be something to that. Well, there is. And I'll tell you, I, I, I do play golf, and there are times when I'm not smiling playing golf. So <laughs> uh, I yeah. resemble that remark. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a bad day on the water. And there's so many options here because we've got the ocean, but we've also got bays. You know, if somebody comes in and says, I'm... I'm not sure if I want to do like a fisher, you know, um, boat. What I, don't even, I don't even know what you call that kind of boat versus like a, a speed boat. I mean, how do you guide somebody into the right boat for them? Well, you know what, Andrea, that's a really, really good question because a lot of people come in with preconceived notions as to what they should get for their family. And uh, quite often they're wrong. Or somebody's given them advice. Great grandpa, somebody said, hey, you have to get a freshwater boat. You can't get an ocean boat. Uh, you should have this kind of boat. And honestly, we get people that are very well educated that come in with notions that are just totally wrong. In the old days, Andrea, what used to happen is a salesman looked at that person as a dollar sign, you know, a commission. Right. All right. I, I get offended by that because my role is you know, really to be the quarterback and to try and guide people to a decision they'll be happy with after the purchase. Right. All right. So if you came into me and you did, as you came in the store the other day, said, Jerry, I don't know, a fishing boat from a trawler. Can you explain to me what would be good for my family? I would reply by asking questions to you. Who's in your family? What do they enjoy doing? How often do you think you might do? What venues do you like? Do you like the ocean? Do you like freshwater? Do you like lakes and streams? Do you want to go to the Colorado River? You know, do you hope to have a different venue so then you have a trailerable boat versus one that's kept in a marina or slipside? So once you start answering those questions for me, I get a chance, just like a doctor, Andrea. How do you feel? Let me get an idea, and then I can go from there and try and make some suggestions that, once I understand, might be more helpful to you. And that helps people make a wise investment because there's nothing worse than spending buku bucks on something that's going to sit in a slip somewhere and never be used or sit on a trailer in the garage. You're 100% right. You know, sometimes a boat will turn into a lawn ornament, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, I'm available to take it out and run it for him. Okay. If anybody listening has we, one. We have smaller and smaller lawns in San Diego nowadays, so I, I see a challenge in having a boat or uh, uh, ornament on my lawn. But uh, well, it sounds like some of the uh, things that you're doing is why you survived the recession. It is, and honestly, I uh, thank you, Barry. Uh, it's difficult, but you have to adapt. And I think the way you adapt is by helping people. And that gets you confidence. That gets you an image that people say, I can trust this person. You know, uh, again, when a industry shrinks, generally it's the one that, who perseveres and endeavors to find out what's missing in the equation that they can provide. And then it's good old fashioned tenacity. Mm -hmm. All right. So look at all the stockbrokers, the financial advisors we lost in the great Lehman Brothers downturn in 2008. Right. All right. And so here's Barry Waxler. Barry says, look, you know, I'm here today because I provided something that the other people didn't. People trust me. People have confidence in my judgment. I want these people to, to look five years from now and said, you know what? I'm glad I stayed with Barry. That's True. what we're trying to do in our business. Uh, it's, it's easily said, difficult to do, but you know it can be done. Wow. So you're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KFSD AM 1450 and financialnewsandtalk.com. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my co-hosts, Andrea Kay and Al Arias, and our guest, Jerry Vetrick from Twin Anchor Boats and Yachts. You know, I've never really heard a needs-based analysis sales pitch from a yacht and boat person before. <laughs> you got a business background, don't you, Jerry? I do. Uh, it, actually, my background is uh, from the Board of Trade, where I traded Govies for 20 years. Um, I was assistant treasurer of a Fortune 500 company. I was a commercial loan officer back in Grant's second term in office. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, if, Jerry, if, you were you were never in okay. His first term in office, <laughs> I, I correct it. <laughs> but I heard you say secretary treasurer. You were grinding numbers. I was. I was back uh, when I went to grad school. Um, they had little uh, uh, IBM System Three cards. Everything was punch cards, and we used the Fortran engineering system rather than COBOL and all some of the later programs that replaced it. But that is my background. And one of the things, Al, uh, with your background as an advisor and a CPA, is that some of these boats are moving up in price uh, pretty quickly, exponentially, actually. And when you get into the larger yachts, people want to understand, uh, is there uh, an option for me either to timeshare this? Is there an option for me to depreciate it because I can use it for business entertainment? Does it qualify as a second home? And uh, this isn't uh, an area of insignificant dollars. So, again, financial advice is exceptionally important. We have customers that range, uh, Al, all the way from Navy SEALs and Marines up to billionaires and uh, very well-heeled people. We like people. the billionaires. I, uh, I have one as yeah. a, I, I have one as a client, actually. And uh, I bet the Navy SEALs are easier to deal with, aren't they? <laughs> they're <gr> <laughs> it depends. They're, they're fun guys, honestly. They're really, really fun guys. And uh, I'll I tell you a cute story. I had one whose boat I was repairing, and he wanted to come pick it up, and it was after hours. And I said, I can't leave the boat out for you. Why don't I put it at my home, and you can come by and pick it up from my home? They came by, he and his Navy SEAL friends came by about 1 o'clock in the morning, oh, extracted dear. the boat. I never heard them. <laughs> never Whoa. heard them. That's These crazy. guys are good. That's yeah. awesome. But fortunately, they paid in advance, right? They did pay in advance. Okay, yes, I did. wouldn't want to send out stealth to track down the Navy SEALs. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's hot in boating today? I mean, are there any, like, trends that, you know? There are trends. The trends, uh, mostly at this point, are in pontoon boats and fishing boats uh, and aluminum boats. And people are looking for a, a boat that is affordable. Well, unfortunately, boat prices have been rising every year. And you say, isn't it the same loaf of bread that Grandpa had? 
you could make that argument. And uh, one of the things that I'm kind of kicking around, Andrea, uh, is a program that I want to try and start maybe in the next six weeks uh, to get more people back into boating. There are a lot of boats out there that aren't being used. Mm -hmm. And my involvement in consignment simply became because a lot of keys were thrown back at the bank. Yeah. And banks said to me, Jerry, can you sell it? Or somebody would say to me, Jerry, I've got to get rid of this to raise cash. I've had developers call me up and say, if I don't pay down this loan, um, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Can you sell my boat for me? So that's what got me into the brokerage business. But uh, we'll find a way to help people any way that we can. So the trend is right now toward affordability. And, is that uh, partly because it's four dollars a gallon for to, you know? To I gas? don't think so. I, I think people adapt well, and I think they're used to that. I think again, it fits into this category, and El can speak to this. Uh, the older generation is taking a look at return on income, and Bar this is Barry's area. You know, if you think at a two point seven percent return on a ten year treasury, that's going to keep you happy. That's an unheard of number. Right. You know, and if you go to a 30 year, the govy rates around three and a half percent. And at age 60, a lot of the baby boomers were thinking, boy, you know, all we have to do is find out which golf course we're going to play, which right. hotels we're going to visit. And instead, they're getting these very low yields. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't think so much gas. I think it's a lot of economic changes fundamentally, structurally. Now, what happens? Janet Yellen takes her foot off of the QE pedal and rates start to rise. I don't know. That's going to be another call. So go buy a boat now for me, right, Jerry? I think if you want help, if you just want advice, if you, I will say this to your whole listening audience, if you want to come in to talk to a Dutch uncle and this man is just going, to, I, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to help you. If you have trust in me and if you believe that I'm here to really help you, uh, I'm, I'm at your beck and call. Speaking of calling, how can they get a hold of you? 619-294-4300. We're in Mission Valley, right on the north side of the 8, right next to Whit Lincoln and Courtesy Chevrolet. And uh, we're open six days a week, uh, closed on Sundays, unless there's an appointment. So... I'm here to serve people. I'm here to help people. I want all of San Diego, Southern California, Arizona, Mexico, Nevada. Everywhere where there's water around here. Wherever Everything there's water. to help people. Right. So, and uh, I'm looking down here at your website. You're at www.twinanchorboats.com. So yes, our listeners uh, can find you in several different ways. So, Alrighty. Well, great. thanks so much. Great. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Great. Well, you're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KFSD AM 1450 and financialnewsandtalk.com. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. We'll be right back after the break with my co-hosts, Andrea K. Al Arias, and we will have with us fresh, healthy vending and Alex Kennedy. <laughs> 